In this video, I'm going to introduce you to call activities, a cool feature in Flows for Apex and my personal favorite. What is a call activity? A call activity is used to call another diagram within the current model. And this is usually applied when different departments in a business use different but intertwined processes. And here comes call activity into play. How do we create a call activity? For example, in the sample application, the bank transaction diagram, when we create this diagram, which processes a payment, for this process, we will need in and out variables. The in variables are the account number, the due amount, the payment method, which can be a bank transfer or a credit card payment, whereas the out variables, the process returns the status and the status message. In order to make this diagram callable by another diagram in a call activity, we have to establish in the execution settings that this diagram is callable by switching the switch on. Then, in the expense claim diagram, we can call the bank transaction diagram by creating a call activity after a task to be executed after a task by clicking on the wrench. So we can create a call activity, and this call activity, we can name it execute transaction. In the call diagram drop-down menu, we can find all of the callable diagrams from which we select the bank transaction diagram. In order to select all of the in and out variables, we can simply click on load defined variables and the in and out variables will be loaded automatically according to the call diagram. Here we can see that the in variables are the same as in the bank transaction diagram. The due amount, the account number, the payment method, whereas the out variables are the status and of course the status message. The advantages of call activity is that instead of having one huge diagram, the diagram is divided up into smaller pieces that can be versioned and easier to maintain individually. And the diagram can be called by several processes. More details on call activities, on nesting of call activities, setting boundaries events, and much more can be found in the documentation on flows for apex.org.